Coach, uh, goaltending and special teams uh, come through for you here? Yeah, clearly. I mean, big penalty kills too. Um, you know, Sogi obviously looks comfortable, but the penalty kill went clean. Um, did what they had to do tonight and the power play. I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of the recipe that got us going, um, you know, earlier in the year where the kill was good and the power play and again tonight. How's Thomas Shabbat? He left a bit, came back a bit. <clears throat> we'll see. He got banged up there um, and really couldn't do much there late, so he couldn't go on. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll check that. We got an off day tomorrow, then we get back to practice, so we'll see how he is. Is that the reason you put Travis Hammond in the second power play game <clears throat> that time? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, you know, at that point, it was 50 50. If he could go, why take the chance? And and here on the second half of it, then he ends up scoring. But, um, but yeah. Something to be said about the simplicity of a fresh face or a fresh body on a power play who's got experience and just get the puck. <laughs> yeah, Hammer was telling me, it's, you know, can't believe it's taken that long for us to get him out there. But uh, likely a one and done scenario. It's going to match on the effort that Hammer puts out every night. You know, the one thing, he gives you everything he's got every night. And uh, the one thing with him, he shoots pucks. He gets it, he shoots it on that. And, you know, it, it, it is, it's simplicity, but the more pucks you get to that, the better chance you got. And he's one of the guys that continues to just pound him on that. What do you think of Brady? Brady is better of a chance. I thought... That's as mature a game as Brady's played in a long time. I, he was winning inches there at the end, um, and that's what you have to do. This time of year, these are playoff games, essentially, you know, us versus them, and it's every inch matters. And I, and I think the, you know, he was winning the blue line. He was doing those things. He was real vocal on the bench to continue to make plays. Um, you know, to me, he did a heck of a job leading the group here tonight. What have you seen out of Matt Sogard in his last three starts, Boston, Tampa, and now today? Just calm letting the puck hit him. If it beats him, it beats him, and he goes again. You know, um, <clears throat> you know. clearly he's going to be a good goalie. We've, we know that. Um, but I think, you know, when he gets rest, uh, you know, he doesn't play too much. Uh, he looks really good. Looked good again tonight. There were signs of frustration coming <clears throat> into Tim Stutzler's game here. What does the goal do for him? Well, I think – I don't think it's that. I just think when you're playing against Barkov um, – you know, he's one of the elite checkers scorers in the world. There's just not a lot of room, you know, <laughs> and, you know, you can't be frustrated. You might have to wait 50 minutes to get your chance. And, you know, Timmy's learning that on the fly. I mean, every night he's playing against the other guy's top guy. Um, you know, that line is, and uh, and he's learning. And the longer you stay with it, eventually you get rewarded. You know, there's there's nights where it comes easy to him, but there's there's other nights where you got to work for every inch. Got eight games left. How do you kind of approach <clears throat> One game at a time. You know, win the next game. Win the next game, you're alive. You know, all we wanted, you know, to do is get in the pack and stay alive. Obviously, <clears throat> we've had our ups and downs with injuries and, and the goaltending situation um, with guys going out and in. But these guys continue to claw, you know, uh, you know, losing Jackie, you know, certainly hurt us on the road the other night. Some good efforts tonight. I thought Brandstrom. You know, arguably this last month's probably the been his best hockey he's played. You know, uh, he was as good as anyone out there tonight on the back end. How satisfying a win was this, Tim? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, uh, I think we played pretty good the whole game. Uh, everybody stuck with it. We blocked shots, and um, so it was great again. So uh, it was definitely a big win for us. The special teams and goaltending, can you start with the goaltending and what, are your, what you're seeing from Mads? Confidence. I mean, he's uh, really confident. He goes all the net, plays pucks. Uh, he knows what he's doing out there, and it uh, looks like he's been around for a long time. So um, I'm really confident in him when he's back there, and, and he looks so calm. And um, you now it's uh, it's been odd to see he's such a great guy. And um, yeah, I love watching him. That's a confidence that feeds off and feeds into the rest of the team. Yeah, 100. percent I mean, if you see uh, the goalie's calm, uh, he knows what he's doing there. Uh, almost saves every puck, and um, now it's just great to see, and um, it it gets us confidence stepping up and. Uh, even if they get some chance, we know Sogi's back there. During one part in the game, you were sitting beside Brady when the Brady's better chant broke out. What did you think of that? No, I mean, um, to be honest, like, that's awesome. Uh, I mean, uh, but I think Matthew, uh, we got to give him credit here, too. I mean, he has, I think, 97 points. Uh, he's an unreal player. He got some chance tonight, too. Uh, but in the end, I uh, for sure stick with Brady here. <laughs> Tim, Tim, what do you think of uh, Travis Hammond on the power play? 
he was uh, he was talking to Shabby and and me and saying uh, that's what happens when you get one in the wheelhouse. Uh, so no, I mean um, it's been awesome. Uh, Hammer's been such a big part of our group and um, getting him out there and, and yeah, he's he's yeah contributes to so much offense too. Like he makes plays, he he finds sticks. So it's been awesome to see him and he's uh, such a great person. So I think everybody kind of learned a lot from him. Is there a bit of a sense of relief when you scored? I, to be honest, I've been playing terrible, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely good, but um, in the end, I got to be way better. Um, I, the only good thing today was probably the face-offs, and um, yeah, stuck with it all game. Why do you think you've been playing terrible? I know, I mean, uh, I feel like every time I got the puck, I, I don't really move my legs enough, and, and they've been they've been gapping up pretty good their D, and um, to be honest, I just got to get back to uh, stopping and starting and um, trying to make plays, hold on to pucks, and I've been losing too many battles. The scoreboard's a lot more fun to look at but after a victory. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I thought we played a good game today, capitalized on our chances, and um, obviously a big two points for us. So um, got to keep the momentum in the next couple of games. And it comes down to goaltending and special teams. Yeah, uh, our goalie was great, obviously. So you played. Uh, you know, like he has been, so um, he keeps us in every game. And um, if we're able to bury those chances, it's uh, you know going to look good for us. Tim was saying he feeds off the confidence of a confident-looking goaltender. I assume the same for you. Yeah, hundred percent. I think uh, you know if you make a mistake, a lot of times um, you know they they get a chance. And when you have a, a good goalie back there, it's uh, you know calm and steady. It, it makes it a lot easier to you know make those plays because um, you know. Guys like Tim are going to make those plays nine times out of ten. So, um, you know, it, it's uh, definitely common there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, it feels good going to the bench, not knowing they're challenging that one. So, um, but yeah, it was a great pass by Bath, and um, you know, lucky enough to bury it. Some about home ice here that you are starting to really like. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's incredible playing in front of our fans out there and. How loud they get, uh, you know. It feels uh, feels like an extra extra guy out there on the ice. So uh, definitely love playing home, and uh, yeah, just glad to, we were able to get the win tonight. How much of a groove are you in your last three last three starts? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I, th I think that things are, are heading in the right direction. I, I think I'm um, taking steps in in the direction I need to play. Um, but to be honest with you, it's just about resetting, right? Because you know. Uh, we, we play tonight and now this game's over and you know it's 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 nice that we, you know we can enjoy this and um, but when we get back to work here you know it's just about focus on, on the next one um, so I, I don't think too much about uh, uh, riding games or anything I just think about going out there and doing my best every night and uh, you know it's uh, I'm happy to get the win uh, tonight and uh, you know that, uh, that's a big thanks to uh, to how hard the guys played in front of me tonight. Uh, goalies are usually laser focused, but did you at any point hear the crowd chanting, uh, Brady's better? I did, yeah. I did <laughs> hear that. Um, yeah, uh, really cool experience for those guys to play against each other. And I, I know they've done it uh, a couple times, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, Brady was awesome tonight and uh, was working really hard. So, uh, yeah, like I mentioned early on here, and, uh, you know, it's just incredible to, to have the support we have from the crowd. When you heard what they were saying and figured it out, what did you think about What was your reaction? I don't know. I mean, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I know, uh, you know, I, I know Brady's a super competitive guy. I don't know Matthew, but I'm expecting the, the same for him. So, uh, you know, I think it probably uh, made them want to compete even harder. So I was just uh, watching it uh, and, and listening and, and laughing a little bit. Matt, what are you thinking, thinking when you see Travis Hammond and walk as many shots that he it's incredible. I mean, I talked to him after the first period, and you know, he might have even had more saves than I did. So uh, uh, it's uh, it's incredible, and just to see how he does it every single night and put the body on the line. Um, you know, yeah, like you said, blocks as many shots as he does. It's, it's a huge help for me, and especially on those when you, when you can't see the puck and, and know that he's out there. And, and uh, you know, he's never stepping out of the way. He's always doing everything he can to, to block it. So uh, you know, he's a huge part of this team, and. Uh, you know, very lucky to have him as a defenseman in front of me. Thought on, on the, the win and just kind of trying to keep this thing alive. Yeah, um, no fun atmosphere tonight. Um, you know, fans gave us uh, the momentum we needed. These are crucial points coming down the stretch. Part of that fun momentum was the crowd at one point chanting "Brady's better." I'm wondering what that meant to you to hear 
<laughs> I mean, love the love the passion from you know the fans. You know, it means a lot for me. And um, no, they've all, always welcomed me, you know, right from day one. But uh, with saying that, it's it's tough to beat a guy who's almost had 100 points and who's been um, you know established, you know, superstar. I know that's biased, but he's a superstar in this league, and um, he's always my you know, my motivation, my role model. And if I could be like him one day, I'd you now be uh, super thrilled. So there wasn't one parent who started it. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, but I think they're loving it though. You're up ten to nine against them. Oh, the, nice. Okay. You got the last word. For oh yeah, perfect. I didn't know that. Uh, didn't really almost expect that number, but hey, we'll take it. Brady, is it hard to focus right now on the fact, or just one game at a time, when you know you're still in this playoff race, but it's still, it's still a tough. One. I mean, it's. Uh, I feel like with learning uh, during this process here down the stretch, it's. Um, I feel like at times, you know, as individually and as a team, we've kind of rode the highs, and, and uh, you know, in the low, they're they're pretty low. So I think uh, as we're going through this and been going through this for the last month, month and a half of, of pushing uh, down the stretch here, is I think we have learned just to take it one day at a time, and, and just uh, um, you know, tomorrow we have the day off, but you know, practice, just get back to work, and just get back to basics. We're we're at our best when we're playing fast. Tim Slutzer just told us here that he feels he's been terrible. That's the word he used. Terrible the last few games. You've been as like you would. How would you assess his play? Well, I think he's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I guess that says uh, something about him as a as a player is that he will never be complacent, and um, he thinks that he can get to the next level. And um, not saying uh, saying a lot because he's been playing great for us, and he's you know won us a lot of games. So um, I mean, I, of course, I don't think he's been you know terrible. I think he's uh, just kind of coming to. Um, just a little bit of you know what he's going to be as a player. He's going to be um, so dominant, and, and uh, he's going to be a big reason why um, you know, we're going to win here down the road.